be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. When you do that, you help my channel grow. Also, enjoy the video. Hi, I'm Miss Jessica and welcome to my book nook. In today's book, we're going to learn how showing kindness and compassion to the people around us, both near and far, is a really good thing to do. And this book is extra special because it's two stories in one. And after we're done reading the book, we get to meet the author of the book. So stay tuned. Okay, let's read a book. When I Saw You by Stephanie Furch, illustrated by Gina Holliday. When I walk through my day, there's so much to see. My toys, books, and games, the things that make me, me. My stuff is very important, and sometimes it's hard to share. These things are extra special, so I handle them with care. You'd think the more stuff that I get, the happier I would feel. But with more things comes something else, and it's becoming a pretty big deal. I've heard some call it selfishness or not being very grateful. Could that be what's happening to me? I do often forget to say thank you. The world is starting to feel smaller because I can't see beyond getting the next coolest toy or listening to my new favorite song. I know I should do a better job caring for people around me, but seeing past myself and my things, it doesn't come naturally. Then one day I see a picture a kid not much different than me. Brown eyes like mine and a shy little grin, standing near a big tree. I was told he likes to play soccer. That's my favorite sport too. I wonder if he plays goalie like me and ever lets the ball through. There's something else he loves. He loves to go to school which is where my family can lend a hand. And this part is pretty cool. We send some money every month that helps pay for things he needs. Food for his family, doctor visits, a school uniform, and books to read. But something else is happening. A change is slowly taking place. I'm starting to notice people instead of all my things. My love for others is growing. I see the people around me. Near and far, I can show them I care and do it with creativity. My new neighbor across the street? I know what this calls for. A plate with some cookies and a big smile. I think I'll go knock on their door. So here's a lesson for you that will hopefully make some sense. Show love to one person and two people win, you and your brand new friend. When you saw me. When I walk through my day, there's so much to see. My village friends and family, they bring lots of joy to me. These people are very important. They put a big smile on my face. I have nearly everything I need here in this special place. But if I'm honest, there are a few things that feel like they're just out of reach. Some important things that if I had would make my world complete. My parents love me very much. They love my brothers too. And even though they work very hard, they can't send us to school. The money they earn while working pays for the home we share. The rest of their wages pays for food, so there really isn't much to spare. 
I would love to go to school. There's so much I need to know because someday I'll be a doctor to help kids stay healthy and grow. You see, we don't usually get to visit a doctor when we're hurt or sick. The doctor is expensive and lives far away, so we can't get to her very quick. Then one day we have a visitor who shares news we've been waiting to hear. It's a message so incredibly special that my mama's eyes fill with tears. In a country very, very far away, a family picked up a photo of me. And just by choosing to do that, they changed our life completely. Now I put on my uniform every morning and run, skip, and laugh all the way toward the school filled with other kids where I learn all I can every day and my parents no longer worry when I'm sick or get hurt while I play. I can visit a doctor when I need to because of the family far away. I'm also learning about something new. I'd never really known this before. There's a God who knows and loves me. He makes me feel safe and cared for. Does this family know the difference they made by sponsoring a kid like me? They gave me things that were just out of reach and provided lots of opportunity. The life I live in my village has always been very sweet. And thanks to a family who lives far away, life feels even more complete. The End We just finished reading When I Saw You and when you saw me, and the author is here with us today. Everyone, this is Miss Stephanie Furch. Hey everyone, nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today, Miss Stephanie. Oh, thanks for having me. It's so good to be here. Now, could you share with us, what was your inspiration behind writing this book? Yeah, well, about two years ago, I had the chance to get on an airplane and fly all the way to Haiti, which is really far away from Minnesota where I live. When I got there, I had the chance to visit two kids that our family sponsors through a child sponsorship program. And that inspired me to write a book about child sponsorship so other people can learn about it too. Now, what is something you would like us, your listeners and your readers to learn from your stories? I think the biggest thing we can learn from when I saw you, when you saw me, and child sponsorship is how important it is to be compassionate. Now, compassion really just means that you see something that needs to be fixed and then you do something about it. So in the book, that meant that the girl saw that there was a boy who needed um, some help being able to go to school and get everything that he needed to grow and be happy and healthy. And she and her family did something about that. It showed compassion. And that's something that we can do. Doesn't matter whether it's in a country far, far away or even in our neighborhoods with our friends and the people that we don't know quite yet. Yes, and that is so true. Now, the child sponsorship program that you used or you worked through was called Global Fingerprints, right? Yes, Global Fingerprints. And they help kids all across the world, not just in Haiti, but in South America, in Africa, and in Asia. Well, Miss Stephanie, thank you so much for writing this book. Well, and this book too, and for being a part of my world. Thanks for having me, Miss Jessica. Yes, everyone, this is Miss Stephanie Furch, and I'm Miss Jessica, and I'll see you soon. Bye.